With the 2013 Stanford Invitational, Blake Haney from Stockdale High School, our seated boys champion. It's got to be the best cross-country field you've faced so far. Very legit course, 5,000 meters, grass rolling terrain, and a lot of studs there. How did yeah. you feel beforehand, and how did it play out for you? Um, beforehand, I was a little, I was a little tired. Um, the tra training's been going pretty well, so I mean, the normal thing to do is feel kind of tired in, at this point in the season. But um, I knew it was going to be a great field, and everyone's going to be competing really hard, and so. I kind of expected what I kind of knew what to expect, and um, fortunate enough to come out with the win. Last weekend for the big win at Woodbridge, did you feel like there was more of a target on your back this weekend? Oh uh, yeah, I kind of did. I mean, I, a lot of people look at me kind of just as a track guy because I've just kind of been, uh, I've kind of been uh, a little bit quieter on the cross country course. I mean, due to an injury last year, and I guess right. it's just previous performances. So um, yeah, getting a big win in a, early in the season kind of, I guess, put a target on my back. I know you're much more fit now than you were last year for cross country because of the injury, but are, have you surprised yourself much or did you really think this was possible? Um, I'm definitely surprised myself a little bit just because I hadn't had the success I've had in cross country. So um, just right now, it's just, it's been, I kind of expected it because training's been going so well and I trust my coaches, but um, it's definitely been a little bit surprising to me. As far as the race itself today, like a lot of big names, you know, Joe Hardy, Blair Herlock, mm -hmm. Esteban De La Rosa, Stephen Fahey. A couple of lead changes, it seems like, in the first mile and a half or so. Yeah. Were you pretty much, um, how did it play out for you in terms of how you were feeling and how they were around you? E ever any dangerous points? Yeah, uh, I mean, I was feeling a little rough, but um, I tried to stay on the leaders and they kind of changed a bit, but um, there's I got there's a couple gaps that got me worried and uh, I didn't know if they were going to make a move and I didn't know if I was going to be able to react, but um, for the most part, I tried to hang tough and uh, just stay behind the leaders for as long as I could. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're sticking around for a couple of days for a Stanford trip? Yeah, you're as far my, as your, my official visit. Your visit. Start, uh, start today around 4, I think, so I'll be here until Monday, I think. So. All right, cool. Yeah. After this weekend, what is the next big race for you if there's one already set up on the radar? Um, I don't, I will have this whole next week off, and I think Clovis invites in two weeks. Will be okay, my excellent. Finishing up, you kind of mentioned because you felt a little bit, a little bit weary, a little bit tired from training, mm -hmm. that you didn't want to kick too far out today. <laughs> Once you crossed, big invitational, Stanford invitational, you get a big feel, what goes through your mind? What did it feel like? Um, I was really tired afterwards, so I uh, kind of just wanted water <laughs> and to sit down. But um, it was definitely a lot of excitement just to win a big race and uh, have a good finish. And I think we ran pretty fast. I haven't really seen the time yet. But um, yeah, it's definitely Tyler. a lot of excitement. Yeah, 14.58 is a very good time here. Outstanding. Blake Henney, our seated boys champion, his best race as far as cross country in his career against a very big field here at the 2013 Stanford Invitational.